Step into a journey back in time with the British Italian Society and Venice Imperial Fund as they recently hosted an unforgettable event at the Society of Antiquaries in London. This evening we've got a joint event uh, between our society and our friends at the Venice Imperial Fund and uh, obviously it's to do with Venice but actually quite an unusual angle. We have a, a guest professor talking to us about environmental aspects of Venice's history. So in the late medieval Renaissance period Venice arguably is a pioneer of environmentalism. We're also delighted to be in this amazing unique venue which is the Society of Antiquaries here in uh, central London just off Piccadilly and really an amazing place with uh, lots of history, some very famous paintings around the walls. Tonight's event is, is going to be a very interesting lecture by a, uh, a, a notable scholar from Toulouse University and she's going to talk about how interventions have from the late Middle Ages onwards changed the, the, the face of Venice to cope with the environmental problems that it faced. And as a matter of fact, man's impact on that lagoon is the most pronounced in, in the Adriatic. Very, very extensive diversions of rivers and all sorts of other things. This unique event featured the renowned professor Claire Jules de la Riviere, who illuminated the late medieval Venice in a lecture that was anything but ordinary. My talk will be about the question of pollution, the question of pollution of water and the question in general of pollution in Venice in the 14th and 15th century. And what I'll try to explore is the question of waste, waste management, pollution of water by the inhabitants of Venice, but also by the government in order to understand if uh, the city of Venice was already able to think uh, about a kind of ecological conscious at the end of the Middle Ages, or, or if it is possible to consider that Venice was, as I say in my, my title, a pioneer in terms of uh, protection of the environment. The British Italian Society, a beacon of cultural and historical exchange since 1941, and the Venice Imperial Fund, a guardian of Venice's treasures, joined forces to shed light on the past to inform our future. We're a British charity which was established more than 50 years ago to deal with the effects that water has had, and especially salt water, on the treasures that are represented in Venice, both architectural and artistic. This was not just a lecture. It was a call to action inspired by history and fueled by the dedication to preserve cultural heritage and environmental integrity. For the British Italian Society, the next event will actually be in a couple of weeks' time when we have uh, one of our colleagues, our honorary director, will be talking about La Mia Syracusa, so about Syracuse. I think a very personal take on its history and culture, and uh, so really looking forward to that, and we're hoping to have events roughly every month. Delvinia from 2012 assists many individuals and businesses all over the UK and outside UK. We can help you with accounting, bookkeeping, tax planning, payroll, LTD, startup, self-employed, self-assessment. Delvinia is specialised in double taxation act. Visit our offices in London, Stockport, Birchwood and East Midlands or contact us by mail or phone. Delvinia the most helpful accountancy service in the United Kingdom. Segui Completely sulla tua Google TV o sul tuo telefonino cercando nello store Completely Plus. Seguici sui canali social di Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn e TikTok oppure sul nostro sito www.completely.uk. Regalaci un like, seguici e contribuisci a far crescere la tua televisione italiana nel Regno Unito. Completely TV, il tuo canale sempre.